part two, we started working on the upper action. Today we're going to clean up those nasty keys. Someone had painted shellac on the top of the black keys and slopped it all over. Here's the tools and supplies we're going to be using. So today we're going to work on cleaning keys, which is always an exciting job. Uh, this particular white key has got a bunch of um, shellac put on because somebody was deciding to brush shellac on the black keys and slopped it all over the place. So we're going to first have to get the most of the crud off, the big lumps. And um, they also tried to refinish the front. So we've got all sorts of um, yucky stuff on the bottom here. So scrape as much of that off as we can. And some of the black crud that's under the overhang here. Get as much of that off as we can that's caked on. And now I'm going to use denatured alcohol to get the rest of the shellac off. The denatured alcohol does not bother the top of the key caps. Uh, having tested that already, I know that. Uh, but the denatured alcohol will get the shellac off of the top to rub a little bit. Okay. Now, if the keys are yellowed a little bit, best way to whiten them up is with a light bit of sandpaper. This is 600 grit paper, and I'm only going to do it enough to where I can um, take the gloss off of the keys. Um, so I'm looking at the reflection of the top in the light, and let me move that stem just a little bit there. Okay, and I'm looking at the top, and I'm just wanting to make it um, foggy or hazy or matte, however you want to call it. Um, depending on how yellow your keys are, you can do more or less of this. The coating on the keys is not real thick. This is um, a synthetic early version of plastic. Okay, now to get the gloss back on, I'm using Novus plastic polish, N-O-V-U-S. It's got three different solutions, a heavy scratch remover, a fine scratch remover, and uh, a cleaner. And uh, this uh, is used for any sort of plastics. I've used this in the past on um, uh, clear acrylic artwork that I've done. Just a little blob of it, about the size of a BB, and just rub it on. Doesn't take too much, put a little on the front here too. You rub it on and you can feel it getting smoother as you go. And then clean off any residue, because we don't want the residue to be on there for the next finer polish. The uh, fine polish is a brown color. The coarse polish is white. And this will really shine it up. You can watch the shine coming and you can feel it as you're rubbing. Uh, it doesn't take much. All of a sudden you feel, oh, this is getting uh, very smooth. And the same with the fronts. Again, I'm supporting the overhang with my finger so I don't accidentally crack that off and wipe off any of the excess. The last step is they call it a clean and shine. I think really all this does is get any dirt off of the surface or any polishing residue. I don't think it really contains any polishing but it leaves everything very nice and clean and smooth. And there you have it, a nice white I don't know if I can catch the glitz in there. The front is cleaned, the, uh, the top is clean, and it feels nice and smooth. Now for the black keys. As I mentioned earlier, someone had painted over the top of these with uh, 
uh, some kind of finish, perhaps shellac. It is alcohol soluble. You can see it's dripping down the sides here, perhaps, if I get the light right. And a bunch on the top, not as much on the sides, but that's all got to come off, and that comes off with denatured alcohol. And of course, uh, I'm taking off the original finish too, but that can't be helped. I, um, I want to get that added non-original finish off of there. And yes, I am getting some of whatever stain might have been on. I can't tell if these are uh, a, some sort of a natural dark wood or stain. They are not ebony. Ebony has such a tight grain they look like black plastic. This I can actually see grain in it. It almost looks like a desert ironwood or something like that. Um, since I'm not getting a lot of brown off, uh, I don't think it was stained so much as just some darker color wood. It's darker than walnut though. Um, so I'm not quite sure what uh, kind of wood. It might be walnut that was stained black. I'm uh, not real sure. So now I've got all of the added stuff off and the dribble that was down on the side. The next step is to put some shellac back on. And for that, I've made a very small little rubber. Um, you could French polish each and every one of these keys. Uh, that would take a lot of time uh, and patience and skill. What I'm really wanting to do now is just get several coats of shellac on the keys. Okay, now we're going to let that dry good and then we'll be back to do something else with that. So now our layers of shellac have dried on here. I'm going to take very fine sandpaper. This is 1200 grit paper. Um, you can use a thousand grit also. And I'm going to smooth the surface. What I'm doing is just flattening the surface and I'm looking for a uniform haze on the top. I'm not sanding all the finish off. I just want um, to level the surface. You could do it by way of regular French polishing, but that just takes a long time and um, this will give some very nice results as you see. Make sure you get the edges very gently on the edges because you can sand through the finish on those corners pretty quick. If I see any bright flashy spots, means I didn't get it up. <clears throat> Renaissance wax. It's a synthetic wax, uh, fairly expensive. This can is 10 years old, and I've only used about a third of it, as you can see. So a little bit goes a long, long way. Um, it's uh, used by museums. You can read all about it. Uh, most woodworking supply places will have that. And just take a little bit of a dab on your, um, on a clean rag. Oh, it's way too much. And Put a light coat on. We don't need to rub it in particularly. We're just getting a thin film. And then let it dry for a few minutes. The nice thing about Renaissance wax, unlike other waxes, carnubas and so forth, uh, other waxes, natural waxes, can get soft and take fingerprints. This will not take fingerprints and it will not feel sticky or soft. So now all I need to do is just buff it off a little bit with a clean rag and it has a very, very nice feel to it. It's got plenty of shine, and it's a very nice, smooth feel um, without the need for re-waxing it. I uh, put this on other wood artwork that I've done, and there really is no need for reapplication. Maybe on keys, I don't know, time will tell. So that's it for cleaning the keys. In the next part, we'll take apart the stop board and clean that.